Yo, I didn't even know that the game would start up this soon, but well, we finally got Animal Crossing. Let's see uh, how it plays out. And I'm not gonna live stream the first couple of days of this. I'm gonna try and catch up and then I'll live stream it, uh, something like that, or just live stream it on schedule. I wanna play this at my own pace. Also, however, I'll also put out tutorials and stuff. But yeah, this is my first time playing Animal Crossing, so maybe I'll get bored of it in the first couple of hours because it does it looks like it's almost like the kind of game that I like like Stardew Valley and stuff but it's, it seems pretty boring because <laughs> Stardew Valley still got like loads of farming things that you can do as well but regardless let's let's try it out good afternoon we're so excited to have you here have you here <laughs> let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure Welcome, welcome to the check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package. Finally, I can get away from all this corona coming over around in the UK. There is so much to look forward to, but first let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Inc. And I'm Tommy. Timmy and Tommy, okay, okay. Cool, cool people already. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. Let's get started, shall we? Now then, we'll need to look up your applications. Can we have your name and birthday? Um, I'm gonna go with my real name here, Andy. Instead of PPN. And. My birthday is 29th of October. Remember to give me presents, boys. Oh, that little sparkle was pretty cool. Uh, here you are. Our next step will be take a picture of you. Ah, uh, crap. Tease. I am of uh, the female type. Joking, joking. Okay, let's see what kind of customization you get at the start. So no preview here, but you can you have you can do little clicks. I'm not that pasty. I'm I'm more of this color. Yeah, more of that color. I'm not too brown. Let's see the haircuts. Oof, oof. What is this? This is like that guy from Pokemon Shield. Um, the the two brothers at the post game. Oh yes, that is. Definitely me. Uh, so I guess it's not gender locked. These are all the hairstyles. None of them look like mine. Um, I guess I'll choose this one. This one looks nice and clean shaven. I like that. Eyes. Uh, hmm. Lots of eyes. I have more. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> well, that's me. Two Pac Mans. Yeah, I'll keep it like that for now. I'm sure that you get more options later. I think I have more of a triangle nose. It's also quite big, too. Hmm. I think I'll go with the triangle loof look. And I definitely have a buck tooth here, so we'll go with that. That's me, my guys. That's me. Oh, and some blush. What's the difference between these two blush? So this is some squinty blush, and then this is like big boy blush. Uh, I do like blushies. I like to be a big boy blush. Let's go with big boy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so let's go back to the facade. Those five options are the only options you get. You don't get any hidden options if you click R even more. So exciting, so exciting. You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done here. You feel comfortable in your new home. Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the way you used to them. What well, means we have islands in the both northern and southern hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. So tell me, Andy, where do you live? Oh sh! I spammed a bit too quick. Like, 
every other game, so I guess I'm locked in the Northern Hemisphere. Every Nintendo game... Oh, it, it, it also plays around with that, so... Yeah, okay, whatever. I'll take that. It's because they don't have a quick skip on Nintendo games, that's why I keep on skipping through this, but, you know, we'll see. So these are actually procedurally generated, right? These these little things are... These are... These island choices are always procedurally generated, so they're always random. You get random ways because at the end game, you can always just, um, you know, just change them up. So, what you should do when you're choosing your islands is definitely choose the one with the biggest surface area at the beginning. So your surface area is like the beginning bit where the town center is. So this, all of these have really big town centers, but these are really boring. You know, like they're encom encompassed by a lot of um, by a lot of trash. <laughs> But uh, not trash, but river. Uh, the ones with an island that's in the middle of the river is always pretty bad as well because you're losing out on a lot of space that way. But I don't know why this one's talking to me. It's kind of got like two eyes and a little arm coming out of it. That's that's kind of cool, right? That's kind of cool. This one, of course, the top left one is the, probably the best one in this scenario. It's got the most surface area, I'd say. I wanted to have a little outlook, but this one's really talking to me. I don't know why. I think this might be the one. Yeah, I think this one will be the one. It's got like a nice hillish regions, hilly regions. And it's got the, like quite a large surface area at the beginning too. So I quite like that. Oh, this one. This one's quite nice too. It's got that windy thing, but this one's got more high area so I'll, I'll do that because in the end you can change it however you want to look anyway if you could only bring one thing to a deserted island what would it be uh, I love myself some food so I think this actually decides what fruit you get in the island but we'll see Sorry guys, I'm not reading all of this because uh, I think a lot of people already kind of read through it and I've already watched quite a fair bit, fair bits of video on, on this, so that's why. Let's all board the plane together and I'm just catching the, the most important parts. Hello everybody, thank you for taking this charged flight package. No problem, no problem, need to get away from the corona somehow. Opening video, cool. This is skippable, but I like this. I like the graphics already, boys. Yay, bridge! Yay, crafting! I think that's getting cut from the video. <laughs> Let's skip it right there because that extra second is so bad and it's also got the usual nintendo switch thing where every every screen is a loading screen and a quite a long one at that as well all right let's see what kind of fruits we got though we got peaches hell yeah peaches i think peaches are pretty common dude which is really unfortunate i would say So I got two islands. I got like a squirrel boy and like a dinosaur. Let's talk to them first. 
Yeah, whatever. This is this is me in real life, right? Like I'm just like whatever. Hazel. Okay, welcome. Okay, Hazel doesn't buck. Oh, it's a horse. We gotta get a move on. Come on. Nice textures though. Wait, can I? Nah, I can't interact. <laughs> I didn't want to interact with you. All right, to the to the guides. Yes, I can start it early. Today is the first day of a new life on this pristine, lovely island, and this is the best. Nook and staff will always be here for your support and ensure your comfort and safety. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. I like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate and ah uh, but i'm getting ahead of myself let's just start with a simple tent shall we please collect your tent from timmy and tommy the place hey thanks man really appreciate that Cool, and I get a map. That's awesome. Whoa, you can type? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Can I shake any trees yet? Ah, this is gonna be a problem. Whoa, trees have been shook. All right, let's let's have a little gauge of what our island has already. What's this big UFO thing? Shadow. Oh, it's just probably clouds. Okay, this, so this is one side of the island. Clams. Whoa, pretty game. Pretty game. So on the perimeter, we seems like we have a nice little enclosure next to this waterfall. Maybe I should build over here actually. That looks quite nice, that little cubby hole over there. Let's see. And how do we access the map here? Can't save right now? So when you go AFK, you can access the map for a little bit. It's a little rivery thing. Oh, this this is a nice area too. Uh, it might be a bit too small though. Mm, maybe that's for someone else. That guy's close by, so that guy might appreciate that area. Yeah, not too bad. I got like a lot of real estate to work with around here. Do I want a beach house? I think I want to. I want to be close to the town center square because. Um, it looks like we're gonna do a lot of things over here, so... I like this area right here. This nice waterfall area. Have to get rid of a few trees though, unfortunately. But, I think it'll be fine. Let's try and get this. I think... Oh yeah, this this looks great. There needs to be three trees though. Of getting rid of. That kind of sucks, man. Okay, let's try it. Okay. Build it. Oh yeah, that that looks kind of neat. Let, let, wait, 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 let's imagine it first. Let's let's picture it. No, 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 no. That was no good. I think to the right a little bit. Over right here. Let's try it.
Do I still get rid of two trees? Mm. This tree might have to go, but I do like this spot. Maybe one to the right. Okay, okay. Right here. <laughs> right there. I think this is... I think this is... Yeah, I think this... This wasn't the original spot, I don't think. But I think this one looks delicious. Awesome! That's my tent. Cool. Let's go. Let's go help everyone out. Maybe I'll help one person out, and then the other one I get to... He gets to choose on his own. Hey, what's up? Hey, Zul. Yo, wait. I got it. Don't tell me. You're Andy. Yes. See, I told you. I had it. I'm his. I gotta tell you. I'm excited to do this whole alliance thing. Uni world. You already found a good spot, huh? He kind of looks like Bruce Lee. I kind of like him. I was trying to just feel for the best spot, but I'm having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. I couldn't just sit here thinking it over, so I grabbed the stick and threw it and that's where it landed. So now this is my spot. I know there's only so far I could throw the stick, but I'm liking this. Yeah, it looks good to me. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good to me. It's quite an open, it's quite an open place. Yes, that, I would want that to be my house. Holy crap, that's like the best looking house ever, dude. The AI is not too bad. No problem, it was all thanks to me, though. Let's go. Let's go help out Buck. I know where he is. Yeah, that's quite a big distance away. Hey, this guy find another really good spot. Maybe, maybe we should put him here though. But he's a horse though, so he wants. I think he appreciates the space. But maybe I want the space for something, you know? Like this is a nice open spot for like a tree farm or something like like that, especially because it's so close to here. Yeah, let me let me move this guy. I want to see what it feels like to move this guy around. Sorry guys, I'm s quite picky. I don't know, I don't know why I got into this vibe. Uh, but yeah, I ha I, I'm not usually this picky, but for this game I feel like I have some big ideas. Hell yeah, pause it there, boy. I think this is the spot. This is a nice spot. And then like loads of bridges can go into it and stuff. That'd be hella nice. I think that'd be hella nice. I hope it's hella nice. Let's see the map though. Yeah, not too bad, I guess. Let's put it here. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. That was way too close to the water. I was like, what? Hope it doesn't let me build here. Uh, maybe... What? Hello? Hello? Oh, my, my screen just went blank for a sec. Oh, that looks nice. Right behind a tree. Mm. Perfect. I think if, when you cut down that tree, it will look real nice right there. He has everything he needs, really. Alright, let's get back to where we need to get to. Oh, it looks like, looks like you just get teleported back. Nice. With that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party. I mean, I'm pretty sure survival is at the first. I mean, there doesn't look like to be much meat around. Stairs at Buck. I know horse meat doesn't taste that good, but... Yeah. Well, why do I have to gather? Okay, whatever. Whatever. I'll gather it for you, man. I'll gather it for you. 
Excuse me? So would you mind talking to me first? What? Go over what we need for the campfire. Ten tree branches to do the trick. You can find them and scattered around. Find one lying around, press Y. Okay. I'll investigate the peach like items growing in the trees. I expect they're real peaches. Nah, they're probably um fake made in China front peaches. So A to shake. Y to grab. Pretty simple. Doesn't look like you can shake trees with Y though. Can I grab some weed on the way? Oh yes. We're gonna have a hella party later. Yo, what's that? Is that big weed? That looks like big weed. Can I grab it? Oh, it's just weed. Okay. Alright. I got my load. Let's go. Got my tree branches. You found even more than I. I needed the tent, but I'm sure you'll find a good use for the rest. I'll take what we need off your hands. I'm so glad I'm sharing a desolated island with such a hard worker. They look like peaches. They're small like peaches and they even taste like peaches. In fact, they are 100% without a doubt genuine peaches. So will you collect six for me? What's this? You already collected enough peaches for everyone, haven't you? Well, well, I knew you were the one right for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take those off your hands and get started on the preparation. Cool. <laughs> nice peaches, dude. Now, is that everything? Well, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Light that bonfire. Wow, that caught a light so quickly. He must be a professional at lighting bonfires, man. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to the new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting one. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen and perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman too. Oh ho! Now we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but that just means we have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt, with hard work, and perseverance will shape this island into, I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore. But what should we call it? Oh crap, that's a really good question. I sense a great opportunity. As the first resident of this island, we should be the one to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put in a vote. Majority rules. So take a little think, time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present you ideas. Oh crap, boys. I didn't really think about this. You can't change this, this can be seen by others during local, so pick an appropriate name. Ooh, I'll be back, boys. <laughs> Alright, I think we're gonna call it Rice Island. It's kinda nice. Rice, are you okay with rice? I'm okay with rice. <laughs> Buff Borg, Guitar Borg. Uh, naming sensibilities. Ah, <laughs> shit, you don't get to change it. Everyone loves rice, man. Who doesn't love rice? That's true. Rice is good. Nice like rice. Of rice. A word or two. So, we settled on a name for Ireland and we've selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's got a rather late, so let's have a toast. Everyone have a beverage in hand? It's fresh food made from peaches. New resident harvested on this very island. Um, I don't think this will fill us up that much. Two rice! 
Hopefully we can grow hella rice down here. It'll be hella cool. Whoa, now this rocks. Uni will. Okay, so he's like a rock star. I'm gonna kick off a new workout routine tomorrow, so I'll take it easy tonight, partner. Mm, I don't like rock stars in my town. Sounds good to me, but first you'll probably want this. It's your very own camping car. You want to set this up before you lie down. Oh, there are a few packages waiting in your tent as well. Just a few items that might be useful. To open packages, use the thing inside, press A. When you're ready, you can move out to crawl into bread. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, that's all from me. Now, sweet dreams. Yeah, I'm being a hog, but there's not many people here anyway, so... Wait, can we turn the radio? Wait, we can move this? No, this thing's glued to the floor. Anyway, let's head to bed for the night, and let's reset for tomorrow. You have to press A to interact with doors, okay. Big loading screen, oh boy. Got a radio and a light and a nice this has to go. Let's turn it off before we get to bed. We're good. Nice. Whoa, there's a doggo? It's gonna end the episode here. Use this KK with a guitar. Cool. Is he, is he rhyming? I'm reading this pretty quickly, and he seems like he's rhyming out of his mind. Why am I dreaming of this guy? I've never met this guy before. Is this guy cool? Is this guy cool? So that was the first episode of uh, Animal Crossing. That's a really nice opener. Give you a little bit of tutorial. It's not too hard, not too uh, bad. I quite actually enjoyed moving people's houses around and planning out what I want to do with each a bit of patch of like area which is pretty awesome so anyway uh, if you guys enjoyed the video please hit me a like and subscribe uh, we'll be back very soon with another one and yeah peace out boys remember to keep afk farming on animal crossing <laughs>